Today, I'll show you how to set up a custom professional email like you at your domain and how to use that in your Gmail account completely for free. If you have a personal brand or a small business and were thinking about getting this custom email address but haven't felt that it's worth spending extra money, well, then this free method is for you. My name is Nick. This setup does not require any special skills and will take you under 15 minutes to complete, so let's jump right into it. We'll use Cloudflare email routing feature, which they have added not that long ago. So the prerequisites are Cloudflare account, registered domain name, and that domain connected to Cloudflare. If you don't have something of that, take a look at my previous video, I have covered all these things in it. OK, here we are at our Cloudflare account. Select Email in the menu and it will take us to Quick Start. Add a custom email address and a destination address, which is your Gmail account. Click Create and Continue. Verify your destination address by clicking a button in an email that Cloudflare sends to that address. For step 3, if that's a new domain and you haven't set up any mail records yet, just click on Add records and enable. This will do everything automatically for you. If there are some records already, Cloudflare will show all conflicting entries and all the records you need to add. Open DNS editor in a new tab either by clicking on the DNS in the main menu on left or by clicking right here on Edit DNS. Delete all existing MX records. If you are using SMTP provider to send mail from your website, add this part of TXT record provided by Cloudflare, like this before tilde, like you see on the screen right now. Make sure there's space between a record and tilde. This will let Cloudflare email forwarding coexist with your website email delivery. Now copy-paste all of the MX records. When that's done, press Finish. You can have as many custom addresses as you want and forward them to as many emails as you need. To add more addresses, navigate to Email – Route. Here you can add more destination addresses. You will need to verify each of them similar to how you did before. And you can create more custom addresses by pressing this button above. Here you can choose if you want incoming mail to be forwarded or deleted. And the last thing you can customize is catch all address. By default, all the emails to non-existing inboxes at your domain will be deleted. You can change this so in case someone makes a typo in an address, you will still receive this email. But this may also result in more spam emails from bots. Ok, so now if someone sends an email to your custom address, it is forwarded to your Gmail inbox. But if you reply to that email using Gmail, it will show that email comes from your personal Gmail address and not from your business email address. <sighs> it feels like I have used the word email for too many times and it all sounds confusing. Well, if it does, I'm sorry. To make it simple, receiving a message using your business email address now works perfectly fine, while sending an email from your business address does not. If you are okay that uh, when you send a message, the receiver will see your personal address and not a business one, well, congratulations, you are done with the tutorial. Just don't forget to hit that like button before you go. And if you want to send emails using Gmail and your custom address, here's what you need to do. Open gmail.com, click on Settings, see all settings, switch to Accounts and Import tab. In a Send Mail S section, click on Add another email address. Enter the desired name that will be shown in From field and enter your custom business address that you created at Cloudflare. 
make sure treat as alias is checked. Press next step. Here we'll need to add SMTP server credentials. If you've already set up SMTP for your website using SendinBlue or other third-party SMTP provider, enter that SMTP server and your username and password. You can get all this information at the service you use. If you don't have a third-party SMTP, you can use Gmail's SMTP server. Enter smtp.gmail.com into SMTP server field. Enter your full Gmail address as a username and your account password. Important note, if you have two-factor authentication enabled, your standard password won't do. You will have to create and use app password instead. Head to myaccount.google.com, select Security, under signing to Google, select App Passwords. Log into your account, at the bottom choose Mail, select Other device, give it a name, and press Create. Copy password from the yellow bar and paste it into the password field. Now click the link or copy code from an email sent to your custom address, which by now should be successfully forwarded into your Gmail inbox. Press Verify. Now you should see your custom email in Accounts and Import tab in Gmail settings. Here I recommend selecting an option to reply from the same address the message was sent to. Now you should be able to send and receive messages using your custom address. You can use mail-tester.com to check if emails from your custom address are getting into spam. From my experience, if you're using third-party SMTP service with correct configuration, your emails should be delivered fine. You may have deliverability issues if you're using a Gmail SMTP and a domain name that was registered less than a week ago. If, for whatever reason, your emails end up in spam even for all the domains, setting up a free third-party SMTP like SendingBlue should help. Consider subscribing to the channel as I'm planning to cover the free SMTP setup in the next video, and there will be more helpful content here too. Thanks for watching this video! If you have any questions left, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. And see you in the next videos!